four. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Badger's Pit. Um, yesterday's uh, 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 videos had some audio issues, apparently, and so I deleted them, and I'm gonna re-upload them over the next couple days. Um, only two of the videos had the problem, um, so I, I'm gonna try to get them fixed and re-uploaded for you guys. Uh, but today we are returning to a Japanese favorite, Love Bites. Glory to the World Live. Um, I think this is something about... When I get to the video, I'll look it up and I'll have it um, uh, written down and stuff for you. But I'm looking forward to this. I like the, I, I've liked the first two Love Bites videos. Um, so this should be really good. Uh, in the description will be a link to... The original video, as well as the metal playlist, and now there's a Japanese reactions playlist, meaning a reaction playlist to Japanese music. Um, as well as timestamps to help you skip to different parts of the video. Uh, if you could, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the video. Let's get to it. Hello, everybody. Um, this is my second time trying to get this video to you. If it doesn't work, the second time, because of my system crashes again, I have a drastic idea of what I'm going to do. But, with that said, welcome to Love Bites. Their song, Glory to the World, live at in the Tokyo Dome. It says Town Hall or Town Center or something like that. Is that the actual Tokyo Dome? Um, or is that what, uh... Or is that uh, another part, another, a separate... It thing that's also called the Tokyo Dome. The only reference to Tokyo Dome I have is to Baby Metal. Um, uh, in terms of YouTube. I've, I've heard the Tokyo Dome mentioned when I watch wrestling and stuff, but that's it. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I will pause it periodically. Um, so let's get to this. I'll backtrack a little bit. So let me let me in let me in a little bit in the door. It was this the intro to this like concert or was this right after an intermission? Do you, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Let me back up a little bit so we get into this. <laughs> Backtrack a little bit, don't worry. Um, sound like another ballad. Um, a sh actually, a shorter ballad. Um, even though it's six minutes, generally for power metal bands, their ballads are a lot longer than that. Um, but uh, which is enjoyable. Um, 
And again, I'm only calling them power metal because I've heard conflicted things that they are power metal. They have power metal qualities to them in every area except for, I would say, vocals. It's the only part that does not power metal. The vocals are great. Don't get me wrong. They're just not power metal, um, which is fine. Um, uh, especially when they get their solos in. Those are, that's definitely power metal. Yeah, I can't tell if she's singing Japanese or um, English in some case, some ways. It's just how my earbuds work, um, and I wish I had subtitles. Um, so let me know if she's singing Japanese or English or both. I I think I heard some English words, but sometimes, like they sound, they're actually Japanese words that just sound English. So let me know. Don't. Never mind. I'm gonna ask you guys. I was gonna ask you guys not to do something, but you guys are gonna do it anyway, so I don't really care. I'll back up a little bit. It, I, I'm hearing a lot more English than I'm hearing Japanese. I think I'm still hearing some Japanese words, but I'm hearing a lot more English. Guitar work is amazing. The drumming is amazing. I'm not hearing the bass as much, but this band may not focus on the bass as well as, as much as other bands do. Some other bands do. Which is fine. It's fine. Um, I don't expect metal bands to go bassy very much. Especially power metal bands, because one of the aspects of power metal is to be le like, if this is truly a power metal band. So far, I've heard two ballads and a... I forget what the first what we would classify the first song as. Um, but if this is a power metal band, traditionally power metal bands like to do um, uh, louder sounds, and the bass isn't that loud. There's a reason why bands have to, guitar players have to stop playing when a bass player has a solo. And even the drummer has to stop sometimes. We're gonna get into a guitar solo here. I can feel it. I can feel it coming. Let's let's pause and stretch ourselves. Let's see.
All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I got to uh, um, talk about the guitar solos. I think I've said this before. They have a very similar style. Not style, but um, system that um, Sabaton uses. Because Sabaton has two guitars as well. And so they do um, a system with their guitars as well. Their sh- solos. Where it's not just one... So sometimes it's just one. Some like back in the sometimes it was just Tommy or someone else. Um, but uh, it's I love it because it's now Sabaton is different. Sabaton sounds like they're doing a song, like the, the the guitars are singing to each other. This makes it sound like the guitars are talking to each other, which is still amazing. It's still awesome. It makes it sound like it's a fluid conversation. Um, as if like. Hey, this guitar's like, hey, yo, you're awesome. And this guitar's like, yeah, I know. I, I do kick ass. And it's like, by the way, you kick ass too. Just, just an observation. I do want to pause it because I got I, I have to make sure I don't get blocked. I've been getting blocked in weird countries lately. Um, I don't know what what the, what the issue's been going on with that. Um, but that's good vocals. Um, uh, and I and I love uh, like I love the synchronization with the band. I love how they're all in their own. They're, they're all in a groove together. It's all mixed up. I like the guitars over here. She uh she plays very similar no not play very similar her stance the way her ex- facial expressions in her stance is very similar to Sinister Gates of Evan Summerfold, where she knows she's kicking ass, but there is no emotion on her face about how bad how much she's kicking ass. Just like Sinister does a lot. Sinister will just sit there and go, "Yeah, I'm kicking ass. I'm kicking ass. I'm kicking ass." Wait, want me to stop? I can't stop. I'm Sinister Gates. And she's doing the same. Love bites, glory to the world. That's really good. Um, and no one's died yet. Great, that's awesome. Um, let's get to the review. That was Love Bites with their song "Glory to the World" live from the Tokyo Dome. Um, with their so- concert, uh, oh, heavy metal will never die. Something like that. Um, let me ask you a question about that title, that name of the concert, though. Is that a tribute to Man of War? Because Man of War has, um, the song God, The Gods Made Metal, and it's a, uh, and, and in Man of War, in that song, they talk about how heavy metal will never die. Um, 
So here's the thing about this band. I'm really enjoying this band. And they have power metal qualities, but I'm not hearing power metal um, from the vocals. The guitar players are definitely doing power metal riffs. They're definitely doing power metal shreds. Um, the fact that, I, that I'm not really hearing a bass, also very power metal-y. Um, the drummer, I don't know. I haven't studied her in, t in depth yet. Um, the only part that's telling me this is this not power metal is the vocals. And again, the vocals are great. The vocals are awesome. They're just not power metal. The reason I say that is because when you look this band up, and it's not just on Wikipedia, it's on other sites too, it says power metal. Right? And, and, and to be fair, my, my judgment for power metal is a little bit different. It might be a little bit too fine, because I listen to a lot of Sabaton. And Sabaton, to me, Modern times, modern word is the bar for power metal. Sabaton and Power Wolf are the bar, bar for power metal. And, you know, and you can make an argument, Ailstorm as well. I could hear an argument for them. There's a couple other bands out there. Windrose is another one that's very power metal y. Um, so, th again, the guitars do match it, but the vocals do not. That being said, it is still awesome and it's still amazing. In fact, her vocals remind me a lot of symphonic metal, like um, Floor and the girl from Epica and the girl from Within Temptations. Um, that's what her vocals so far remind me of, more of symphonic and metal. Which some maybe this is maybe it's power symphonic. I don't know. It's I'm not hearing the problem is I'm not hearing a sympathy sym symphony. Even in power symphonic metal, you still have a sympathy in the background. I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing the guitars and the drums. This is not a criticism at all. The band sounds awesome, and I love those guitar shreds. This is just, I'm curious of why they get put given that label. If they do deserve, if they do get given that label, I want to hear a song that says they get given that label. Whatever, right? Maybe they're just heavy metal, and maybe they're just metal, and they don't really have a specific subgenre. I'm just curious about why just multiple websites would say they're power metal. Um, other than just the guitars. But with that said, I did enjoy this. And I would love to hear more. If you would like to hear more. Or see more of this. Um, please like. Uh, comment and subscribe. And tomorrow. Uh, and in the description will be a link to the meta playlist. You will have a Japanese reaction playlist. And the original video, as well as timestamps to help you skip to different parts of the video. That's all, folks. If you like, um, see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>